Oh, yes. Cacao is a health-promoting medicine. Let me give you some 12 interesting facts about the cacao beans, which may trigger your test buds. Hello, fans. Welcome to Suzy Farms. Here we focus on agriculture, animal husbandry, aquaculture, and agribusiness, where we bring research to practice. Our products are purely organic, from the farm to the table, so we can eat healthy food. If you are new here, like, comment, subscribe to our channel, and hit on the notification bell. Permit us to serve you with some cola nuts and palm wine so you can relax while watching. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Cacao was introduced to Europe by Spanish conquerors in the 16th century and quickly became popular as a health-promoting medicine. Today, Cacao is most famous for its role in chocolate production. However, modern research has revealed that it does indeed contain important compounds that can benefit your health. Here are 12 interesting facts about the cacao beans which may trigger your test bus. Cacao is known to be one of the healthiest food to consume. That is without the whole chocolate part added onto it. Many people eat it for its health benefits, but not many people know what it does to your mood. Do you know that cacao contains a mood stimulant, which not only improves your mood, but puts you into a better space? Anandamine is a fatty acid neurotransmitter, which invokes the feeling of joy and bliss. If you are feeling a little bit down, then that is a good reason to eat chocolate or even better, some cacao butter. A so-called love drug releases endopins, which allow us feeling alert, contented, with an overall better sense of well-being. We all know that chocolate is a go-to food when having a Valentine's Day celebration, right? This is because of the faithful cacao beans. The compound is called phenethylamine and is known to release neurochemicals similar to ones released by opium. These chemicals can trigger endorphins and pleasurable desire from your brain. Naturally, these are released during sexual activity and can be associated with the feeling of love. So if you need some extra help with your tasty desire, then chocolate is the way to go. Keep it in mind the next time you want to give a token of your love. Just make sure your chocolate has a high concentration of cacao. Who knows, you might just get lucky. Cacao beans come from cacao trees. And why these trees are grown in plantations? They are almost never grown alone. The trees are often planted with big and taller trees in order to protect them from direct sunlight. These trees will often be mangoes, coconuts, banana, papaya tree, or others, which can grow to be quite tall. The farms also have to pay close attention to the soil in which the tree is planted, as this often determines the taste of the beans just like in the production of wine. It usually takes about three to five years for the cacao tree to bear fruit. Each tree only produces about a thousand beans per year, which amount to just one kilogram. Not only does this make growing the cacao beans expensive, but also costly in time. Cacao powder contains a lot more fibers and calories than its cocoa powder counterpart. This is because the beans is less processed in cacao powder and more processed in cocoa powder and therefore more nutrients remain intact in cacao powder. This leads to cacao being a great source of vitamins, fibers, minerals and natural carbohydrates. Men may prefer it due to its higher protein content and in monosaturated fats. Many recipes call for cocoa powder. However, it may be wise to switch from cocoa powder to cacao powder. The two go interchangeably 
in things such as smoothies, cookies, raw treats, and baking recipes. If you do decide to use cacao, then you will get the same great chocolate taste, but also benefit from the increased amount of nutrients provided by cacao powder. Just remember though that cacao can contain more calories, but excellent choice in making grandma's famous chalk chips cookies for healthy eating habits. Cacao butter is taken from the fruit and can be considered the fattiest part, which forms the outer lining of the single cacao beans. The butter is white and has a rich creamy texture, just like you will find in the chocolate. Oddly enough, the taste resembles white chocolate too. The butter is removed during the process of scraping the fruits in order to prepare it for the production of cacao powder. Cacao nibs are just chocolate chips for people who like to live on the healthier side of life. These nibs have no added sugar or fat and still maintain their original nutrient from the cacao fruit. The nibs are essentially the beans itself, which has been stripped from its hocks and put into a roaster to make them a bit more edible. The beans are then cut up into smaller manageable pieces for consumers to enjoy. The cocoa nibs are the less processed and most natural form of cacao product available. The taste may be bitter and somewhat nutty to some, but the benefit make it worthy enough for a chocolate replacement. The nibs can be used in smoothies, toppings for dessert, or just as a snack. Now, just get ready to rumba the energetic side of life. Cacao is known to have one of the highest concentration of magnesium ever to be found in a single natural food source. Not only does magnesium help protect osteoporosis, but can also reduce the effect of type 2 diabetes and even lower your blood pressure. Just 150 grams of cacao nibs will provide you daily recommended amount of magnesium. This can differ between males and females by being 450 mg for male and 320 mg for female. The cacao beans is known to have many health benefits because of its high oxidant content. Not consuming enough antioxidants can lead to a poorer metabolism and decrease gut microbial activity. A Swiss study done in 2009 found that in just two weeks of using cacao, individuals showed signs of reduced stress in the form of cortisol, an improved metabolism and gut microbial activity. This is all because of the antioxidant provided by these healthy cacao beans. If you would like to lose weight for the holiday season, then just drink a hot cup of cacao before meals. Mixing about one teaspoon of cacao powder into a hot cup of water before meals can lead to a shrunken appetite. This is due to the mao inhibitors naturally found in cacao powder. The mao found in cocoa allow for the release of more serotonin, which circulates in the brain. The cacao powder can be mixed with coconut milk, rice or nut milk to suppress the strong bitter taste of cacao. However, it is advisable to avoid dairy as it will inhibit the absorption of antioxidants into your body. Who need dietary pills when you can do it yourself with this home remedy called cacao? The choice here is clear because I will certainly go for cacao beans. Do you know that cacao is a heart protector? The Aztecs knew about the benefits of the cacao beans on their hearts and how it provided a boost to their cardiovascular system. This was why they called the fruit heart blood. The benefit come from the rich flavonoids which help in protecting cells from damage and also help strengthen the heart. The anti-inflammatory properties of flavonoid may protect the consumers against cardiovascular diseases. 
Many people believe that it was the Mayans who first discovered the cacao beans and created the process of making cocoa powder. However, the original discoverers of cacao and makers of chocolate were the Olmecs, who then passed on the information to the Mayans. Back then, it wasn't called cacao, but it was called caca. I guess the Olmecs should be known for chocolate rather than just for carving colossal stone heads for people to see. It is time we put the history straight and give credit to the Olmecs who rightfully deserve it. I hope you now understand the health benefits of cacao. Please kindly like, share, subscribe and don't forget to hit on the notification bell so that you will be the first to be notified when we upload our new video soon. Thank you for watching. Cheers.